Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, pick up your Bible and turn with me to the book of Job. Today we'll be in Job chapter 2, and we'll look at verse number 10 as our text verse of Scripture. Get a cup of coffee. Sit with me for just a moment. Let's have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, praise God. Friend, there's just not a better way to get a new day started than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and spending some quality time with God and His precious Word. Well, friend, over in the book of Job, chapter 2, verse 10, Job answers his wife, and he says unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. And I pray that God will add his blessings to the precious reading of his wonderful word. You know, my friend, uh, this has been a great series, Your Duty While in the Deep Dark Valley. We've already saw that uh, while in a deep, dark valley, we must be uh, devoted to God. Uh, While in a deep, dark valley, there must be a dependence on God. And while in the deep, dark valley, uh, there must be a diligence before God. Today, we'll finish up with uh, while you're in the deep, dark valley, there must be a declaration about God. You know, my friend, throughout Job's ordeal, he never badmouthed Almighty God. He never stopped praising the Lord, even during the darkest hours of his trial. This great faith is on view in uh, chapter 1, verse 21, and chapter 2, verse 10 that I read in your hearing today. Chapter 1, verse 21 says, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My friend, we would do well to remember that one of the surest ways out of the valley that we're in is to exalt the name of the Lord. The saint who learns to praise the Lord even when he's in the midst of trials and difficulties is a saint who probably isn't aware of the valley anyway because he's focused on the right thing. People who focus on their problems are people who have many problems. However, people who focus on the Lord are people who walk through the deepest dark valleys with mercy and grace. These people have problems, but their focus is on the Lord, not the valley. Please note that the devil's intentions were to turn Job against God. I mean, look at uh, chapter 1, verse 11. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he had, and he will curse thee to thy face. That's what the devil wanted uh, Job to do. And in chapter 2, verse 5, Uh, But put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. The devil squeezed Job, expecting to get some old sour, mean, and hateful reaction. Yet every time he applied pressure to Job's life, he only produced sweetness and praise to the Lord. People listen. When the devil squeezes us, he expects to get lemon juice. He expects us to badmouth the Lord. He expects us to bellyache. He expects us to cry. He expects us to complain. He expects us to whine and talk about how bad things are. He expects to get the old woe is me attitude from us. And friend, I hate to say it, but that's what he's getting from many today because people are so focused on their circumstance instead of the God that's bigger than the circumstance. If we could just learn that when the devil puts the squeeze on us, instead of giving him what he's looking for, if we just praise the Lord, pretty soon the squeezing would stop. Nothing will change your circumstances faster than the changing your attitude about your circumstances. 
My friend, listen, if we believe the Bible, and I don't know about you, but I do, if we believe the Bible, we would shout when hard times come around because we would know that God is about to do something big in our lives. Now, as we close this particular uh, devotion, things are rough around our place right now. COVID-19 is running wild. Thousands of people are dying. It looks like there's no hope whatsoever. We find ourselves in one of life's deep, dark valleys. Friend, I hope that after hearing this, that we've learned uh, what we must do. You need to bring your need and your burden to the Lord Jesus Christ and let him take care of it. Don't complain about it. Don't gripe and bellyache about it. But let the Lord take care of your need. Friend, let him take care of your attitude concerning this terrible situation that we find ourselves in. If you're lost, you have nowhere to turn to right now because times are tough. Friends, you can come to the Lord Jesus Christ and receive him as your Savior. Friend, if you're saved but belly aching anyway, refocus and look to Jesus. There's no better time to do it than right now. Whatever the need, friend, if you'll just come to the Lord and let him have it, he'll fix it. Friend, we don't have the power to fix anything. He cares, and he'll fix it in his time and in his way, but you've got to let him do that. 1 Peter 5, 7 is the last thing I'll share with you in this particular devotion. Casting all your care upon him, upon Jesus. Why? For he cares for you. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this powerful devotion, and I pray that you'll use it for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, let the Lord use this devotion in your life. Refocus and look to him, the author and finisher of your faith, and we'll be great overcomers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Share Christ with others. Let others see Christ in your life. Whether you get out and they see it or whether you call and they hear it in your voice, let others see Christ in you. Your life may be the only Bible some will ever read. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.